Hey everyone, Todd Chun here with TC Deals and Mark Maupin. Um, he's, a, he's a big lead generator and we do a lot of these meetups together. And um, you know, so today's meetup on Thursday is pretty much for everyone to, you know, ask any questions you might have or pitch any service that you might do or any, you know, or any deals you might have, wholesale deals or anything. Um, I'm a licensed real estate agent with Villa, and very invested in real estate company, um, uh, especially with, um, you know, with, um, you know, if you're doing wholesaling and if you're doing traditional real estate. Todd, you might have to mute everybody while you talk for a minute. Yeah, let me find out what it is. All right. All right, I think I got it. I'm on mute you, Mark, just in case. All right, cool. Yeah, so if anyone, you know, if you got any TVs on or radios or anything, if you could please um, turn it down, that would be great. And anyway, if you're a real estate, if you want to be a real estate agent, um, feel free to contact me. I got a few wholesalers um, just this week and last week together um, that actually um, signed up for our company here. We got great training. Um, they provide leads for you. Um, you can you can still do your investing side of things. It's just a really good spot. Um, and a lot of good tools, Facebook pages, and you got a you know we could brand you really really well. Um, again, my name's Todd with TC Deals. My cell phone is two four eight four nine seven nine one nine five. Um, feel free to call or text me. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody's an investor, you should actually talk to Todd uh, because you can, uh, you know, a few years back, Todd was just doing a hundred percent wholesaling, fine, fix and flip and renting. But today I'm, I'll, I can, and I know he'll swear by it. He's full realtor, full everything. But you got as an investor, you have to find an investor-friendly real estate company. So you can find those by going to your RIA meetings, the local meetings, which really aren't happening now. But where he's at is incredibly investor-friendly, great at generating leads, great at being able to give an investor other work that they can do, like BPOs and REOs. And there's very few companies that would actually give listings out, and they do there. And at the whole environment is is really geared towards uh, uh, everything. And then they work with investors if they're buying their own properties. They're, they're really, really friendly towards you. So you, you should sit down with them. Yep. And, and also, um, we're in White Lake, Michigan, but it doesn't even, oh, hang on. Let me see. We're in White Lake, Michigan, but, you know, mo a lot of investors, I mean, they got investors in Ann Arbor, um, down river, um, Macomb County, it doesn't matter where you're at. The, really, if the further you are, the more, um, anytime we get leads in that area, you'll you'll be the one, you'll be the go-to person. So it'll be a, it's a good thing, you know? So, but anyway, yeah, just contact me. I could give you a bunch of information and- yeah, And to give you an example, I'm just a lead generator, but on, this coming Monday, I'm going to pick up a $3,000 commission referral fee where I, I actually teamed up with somebody on a commercial property, but they've ran with the ball. I'm still at home. Uh, this week, I've gotten three listings, but I also referred those listings to people, but I'm a 50% of the commission. So you really, really want to take a look at real estate license and sit down and talk to Todd on that. And, and Todd, earlier, before everybody got on, you're an incredible resource for like uh, on the fine fix and flip. I know like everything I wanted to do to my house, I call you and you've got the right guy at a really reasonable price. Like for roofers, would you be good for supplying a roofer right now? Yeah, absolutely. Cement, and roofing, then, waterproofing, the, whatever, you know. The I, furnace I've got in my house was put in by a licensed guy that you had for me was incredible and it was the lowest price I got from anybody and got a, I got a good warranty on it. So you should like uh, ask any question when the meeting's going here. So I'm going to shut up. All right. 
Yep, yep. I'm going to unmute everyone for a second, see how this goes. And um, if anyone has any deals, um, just speak up and let's start talking about some deals or, um, or if you have any service, things like that. All right, so unmute all. You gotta, you might have to, yeah, some people are muted. So anyone have any, um, any deals to pitch out? Or anyone looking for any particular areas or deals that you're looking to buy in, flips, rentals, what are you looking for? Come on, come on, Melissa, what are you looking for? All right, any wholesale questions that you have? Anyone new in the wholesaling? How can we help you? I do have everybody muted. I am muted. I'm mute. Oh, boom. Yeah, I am muted everyone. They gotta, they're going to have to do it themselves. Well, Melissa's got a tremendous service. She should talk about it, <laughs> especially if you're an investor. Yeah, so he, Melissa, you see Melissa over here. Um, she is a transaction coordinator. Um, she helps realtors, she helps wholesalers um, get the loan um, closed. If you get a deal under contract, she could take it from there and order title, make sure the title's clean, coordinate the closing, and actually do the closing for you. You know, make sure all the um, your ducks are in the roll. And if there's any questions, all, all you do is keep looking for more deals. And same with real estate agents. Um, if you're listing a property, you give her the details, she could get the purchase agreement together. She could get it to the, to the um, buyers to e-sign it, sellers to e-sign it, whatever side you're working on and coordinate the closings between the title companies and making sure the EMDs get sent and all that good stuff. Inspections for certain cities that have to get done. Um, she does all my transaction coordinating, and she also works for individuals um, that might need her. And she's a notary, so she could, you know, do the closing. She could notarize docs. Um, yeah, what I like is she's a la carte. So, like, I together, she'll handle everything for me, but I don't have to pay her, pay her ongoingly. Just handle that one deal, and it's well worth it. Yep. Absolutely. So. Uh, Melissa, if you want to throw your type your information in the chat box for everyone. Why don't you, you talk? Why don't you talk and spell it out? So yeah, give us your phone number. Phone number is two four eight 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 two eight nine nine one. Two four eight 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 two eight nine nine one. Yes. And I've been in title since ninety eight. Um, I can pretty much do. Everything I'm a notary, I transaction coordinate full time for Todd. Is that echoing or is it just me? It's echoing. It's all right. <laughs> no, you talk, Todd. All right. And her email is Melissa, M A L I S A, closes, C L O S E S, at gmail.com. Melissa closes at gmail.com. I know she's done some work with Emmett. I see Emmett up here. What's up, Emmett? How you doing, brother? Emmett. All right. So someone come up with some, anyone got any um, wins, any, anything that they want to pitch out, any service that you do? Are you buying any properties? Do you need any properties? You want me to, any questions on wholesaling we could go over? I mean, we got, people are here for a reason. Let's, what are you looking for? You don't want to hear me talk all the time. I could talk about all my deals if you want. Do they know how to unmute? You just gotta hit, yeah, I got, 
Emmett, I unmuted. Everyone, I unmuted. They're just, um, they got to do it from their own. They have to just click the unmute button. Yep. To the far left. Anyone in the crowd that wants to wholesale and never did a deal before? Yes. Okay. What are you doing um, currently? Are you doing any type of calling or anything like that? Not doing any calling right now, just getting everything set up and getting the business set up. Okay. So where are you at? What, what are you getting, like an LLC set up? Yes, I'm in South Lyon, but I'm pretty much South, Southeast Michigan, I'm looking. Okay. Yeah, once you have an, L, you know, an LLC set up, or even if you didn't, there's, you could still buy, but it's best to do it in an LLC. Um, what you, so once you get an LLC set up, what's your next, what, do you, what are you gonna do next? What's next for you? Uh, once I do that, i uh, start looking through uh, online at uh, different uh, websites or just finding different resources to find the deals. Okay. Yeah, you could go to Craigslist, um, Facebook Marketplace. They have some, actually, I was surprised they got some good deals there. Um, and there's other different ways. You could just drive for dollars and look in certain neighborhoods of houses that look like they haven't been fixed up in the last 20 to 25 years. Um, and then you could, um, you, you know, search for the owner's information. You could drop off a postcard. Um, you could call them. That's the best way. Do you listen to any particular podcasts? Not at the moment. There's one that I highly suggest. I get a lot of, I listen to it pretty much daily. It's called Wholesaling Inc. I-N-C, Wholesaling Inc. It's a podcast and pretty much they will, they will um, give you a blueprint, uh, you know, and, and, and you'll get a lot of, um, a lot of good information from there that, you know, there's other ones also, but I don't want to give you too many but I really highly suggest that one. That's called Wholesaling Inc. It's free. And um, there was a book that I, um, last week I talked about, it was called Exactly um, What to Say. You, you could get an audio book by Phil M. Jones, The Magic Words for Influence and Impact. And it's a really good book or, or audio book, you know. And I listen to it pretty much a couple few times uh, every um, every month. I always listening to it because I forget so much about it. So, but it's called exactly what to say. I think I'm I'm gonna try to put it in the paste. I'm gonna paste it, but they won't let yeah, me. Thank you. I was gonna ask you who uh, the author was. Yep. Yep. Anyone else looking for any rental properties or um, fix and flips? Hey Todd, it's Mafuz. Uh, just looking for anything similar to Rivard, the one from Seller Media uh, we're gonna post tomorrow. So anything similar to that, we're always interested. Awesome. Yep, I got one in, are you interested in a Royal Oak property? It's a good rental. It needs work, but if the price is right. Yeah, but I mean, I assume Royal Loke, I assume the dollar amounts are high. Um, yeah, they're asking the, 125 for it, but it would be a good refi, you know, burst strategy. Right. No, we're looking for something more like South Warren when you sold somewhere in that yep. all in 30, 40 range. Um, be able to make, you know, locally and being local and being man managing it ourselves making about 20, 25%, so. Awesome. So everyone, um, um, Maf um, how do you say your first name again, Mafuz? Mafuz, yeah. yeah. All right, he's my man. He, he buys in South Warren and Warrendale, um, which I got one coming in Warrendale, a different a brick house that I'm gonna um, send to you. 
Hopefully I'll have it locked up tomorrow, okay? You're my first guy, I'm gonna show you that one. Um, and anyway, so he's a good guy. How did you hear about me? Cause last, here's, here's what happened everyone. Last week, um, I got a deal on the contract on Friday last week and I showed it to him on Saturday and he wanted it. You know, I had a few people at the house. He says, I want it. We agreed upon a price and we're closing today. So he's a legit buyer. He doesn't mess around. And Melissa handled for me everything um, for me and, and, and she's gonna handle the closing tomorrow. So again, this is a guy you wanna know, but how did you um, find out about the Rivard property? Did you see it on Facebook? on instagram yep. how did you hear about it yeah the tc deals page i follow it pretty religiously so awesome awesome appreciate it all right yeah so my tc deals uh, group page so please everyone join that one and anyone's welcome to ask questions or um or even pitch your own deals on there you know we welcome all of that i suggest when you pitch a deal you put that if you got it locked up you want to put the address you want to put the price and um, and you want to have some photos on there. And I really suggest you do that. You know, no, nothing, you know, I see houses all the time without the address and or without the price. And a lot of people don't even, you know, we don't even try to, and, and you say, oh, email me, email me. No, you want them, you want to make it as easy as possible for someone to get your information. So. That's really my suggestion on that. Um, yeah, for sure. So remember, he's looking for South Warren. He lost three bedrooms. Um, and South Warren is a nice, it's a hot little area. And, and then he likes Warrendale in Detroit. And, um, and um, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Lee. Anyone, um, anyone else, uh, what areas are you buying in? What are you looking for? Come on. Hey, this is me. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is me again. Yep. <clears throat> um, I have a buyer that's looking for a four bedroom ranch in East Point. I don't know if there is such a thing. Um, in East Point, but they're looking for uh, a, a main level master suite and um, the other bedrooms could be on another floor on level. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a ranch, but they would prefer a ranch. Right. Are they, um, yeah, four bedrooms are hard to come by. Um, are they, is this a property that they want to buy and live in as Correct. a very yes. yeah they want to if they have to do a little sweat equity they don't mind they can you know fix it up a little bit but that's what they're looking for what what's their price uh, are, are they buying getting a mortgage are they paying cash what's their price point most likely do financing um i don't think it's going to be cash i don't know what their uh price point is though yeah if you can send me a text um, with your information and then we could see if um are you a real estate agent no i'm a i'm an architect okay and well we could see what we could you know i could search the mls and see if there's anything you know decent out there if they you know i'll check all of east point on all the four bedrooms and we could see what we could find and then and then if not, then we can maybe search a different city. We could do a couple of different things. And then, and if I come across anything off market, I could tell you four bedrooms, every, it's just um, a tough, tough, um, tough to find, you know, okay. two and three bedrooms are very, very common. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, all right, anyone else? Yeah, I have a, I have a deal. 
What you got, Emmett? Have one uh, two bedroom house, which is like about 15 minutes away from downtown. It comes with a nice uh, driveway, two lots, and it's a two bedroom home. Room to expand into a three bedroom home. Need some work, and it's a nice home. And right now, I'm asking twenty thousand for it. Okay, what's the address? Thirty-seven fifty-eight Rofi Place. That's uh, four eight two one four. Yes. So you did a good. You got that this morning, didn't you? Yes. Good job, brother. Good job. So you're asking twenty thousand, and where's it at? Because isn't right across the street from Median Village? Yeah. Well, not exactly. It's about three blocks north of Indian Village, and one block, one block north of. Actually, not even one block. More like yeah, one block north of uh, Island View. That's what it is, Island View, right, okay. Island View, Island View. Real nice starter home, uh, needs some work, and uh, has uh, two lots. So I have pictures available in about the next 48 hours, I'll post them. Hey, Emmett, is anyone living in it? Uh, well, the lady is, you know, she's a like older lady and she has a second home, so she stays there part time and when she's working on it too. Okay. Yeah, because I was I mean, not just a good starter home, it's probably a a good rental. Oh yeah. Right. It, it was a very, very good rental. I mean, like right down the street, um, the homes are going for north of $180,000. And this one here is just like 800 and like 868 feet. But you know, it, it has a lot of potential. Right. Does it have, yeah. does it have a basement? Hello? Go ahead, Mark. Okay, yeah, I just want Emmett to give his uh, phone number and email to everybody else so it's oh. not captured. Oh, I forgot God. that part. <laughs> How can I forget that part? <laughs> How can I forget that? That's uh, directly at 734-799-3096. And you can also email me at uh, Foster Property and mgt at gmail.com cool awesome awesome all right yeah so that 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 one i think is it right off of warren or mac which one right off of mac so it's right off of mac it's a straight shot downtown um indian village um whatever else you said that um island view Island View, you name it. It's a it's a lot going on in that area. A lot, yeah. A lot, 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 lot going on. You got Angels down there where Crab Works used to be or still is. You got the Cole. You got right on Jefferson. You got Myers. They're building the, the new Myers right off of uh, Jefferson. You can go right down. It's got enough room where you can put your boat in the backyard too. Enough room. Doesn't doesn't need new windows. Got you know really good windows there. Just needs the cosmetics in the inside. Nice. You could probably make it a little hipster house or something. Absolutely, absolutely hipster house. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. So anyone wants to live in the downtown area, they might want to check this place out. For sure. All right, man. Thanks, Emmett. Yep. Good, work, good work. Way to get it done. Anyone else have any deals?
anything to talk about or tell us or pitch to us? Is anybody looking for any places in Southfield? In Southfield? Southfield, like a, you know, a, a buy and hold by any chance? What do you got? Um, I got mm -hmm. I, I got a buy and hold coming up um, near Nine Mile. Near Nine Mile. Coming up real shortly. Real oh. nice. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a starter home, but it's got it's got everything there. Real nice finished basement, the whole nine yards. So uh, that'll be coming up real soon. All right, once you lock it up, right? Yep. Awesome, awesome. How many bedrooms? Uh, three. Three bedrooms. Mr. Bant, uh, he's a four bedroom. <laughs> I'll Wait. hold it right there. I'll hold it right there, Mark. <laughs> right. Awesome. What you got going on, Juwan? Anything? You need any help with anything? Steven, Mosley, or Steven, you guys need anything? Come on. Well, if they want to talk, I will. Oh, um, great. Do you guys also uh, cover multifamilies as well? or I'm also looking for some four plus multifamily units. Four plus multi-family units. Okay. In Detroit? Anywhere. In Detroit's um, 48206 and 48204. Okay. 48206 and 204. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like why 204? Is that where is that like by the aviation area? I, I want to say uh, for 204 north of 90, north and east of 96. Okay, gotcha. I know where I know where you're talking about, like by Davidson. Mm hmm Okay. And then 48206 uh, south of Davidson, pretty much, you know, all to the boulevard. How is that area for those that invest? Um, I've been hearing a lot about it. Just curious. By the Dave, you mean the area by the Davidson? Yeah, Davidson and Livernois, that southeast area. Uh, yeah. I see a lot of big houses over there, like fourplexes and stuff. Right, yeah, there's um, there's some good, I mean, that's actually close to um, Boston Edison. Hey, Emmett, where was that one house? It's close to that area, too. That What's that neighborhood? Russell Woods is over there. So there's some good, solid blocks in there and good areas so you know um i've always considered it like an older type area but man it's starting to come back and it's already came back like russell woods we're looking at the comps and they're selling for over one hundred and fifty thousand on the nice blocks and then um and then you know the ones that are not that nice of blocks like average slightly below average are probably fixed up nicer around 90,000 so um yeah so it's it's a it's it's up and coming you know it's a good rental area for you know p, you know two families there's another wholesaler Jeff Helm um Melissa just posted he has a four pack of multi family houses um i was trying to i know i think he posted it on my facebook page today and i was i was glancing over it so you could always um feel free to you know contact melissa um you could contact me i could get you that information but if you're looking for some multi-family i don't know if they were if they're two families though 
but there were a four pack of them and it looked like they were selling at a good price. So, um, so it might be something you might consider, you know, it, yeah, I was trying to look at it real fast and I don't see it. Um, I, you know, so let me see here. Yeah, here it is. Let me tell you, it's four. All right. So it isn't, it's not four families. It's four, two families. Um, you could buy all four. They're asking a hundred and hundred thousand five hundred. All right. You tell them, tell them you've seen it on TC deals and you could get it for, you'll get 500 off. You'll get it for a hundred thousand. <laughs> And, um, but anyway, so like, or you could buy it separately, you know, 29, nine for one it's at three, three, two, nine West grand. Um, the other ones at, and that's in four, eight, two, three, eight, one, four, five, zero two Marlow, uh, four, eight, two, two, seven. That one's only 20,000. Um, I think one of the units is 500, but paying 500. Um, Here's one in two, three, eight, one, three, five, two, six, LaSalle Boulevard. That's 30,000. And then there's a two family, um, one, three, five, 80 Southfield freeway. And, um, that's 21, five. So, but anyways, you could go to TC deals and get the drop box and the pictures and things like that. Or you could click the link below. Melissa has it there. Thank you. For sure, for sure. Hey, Mark, are we doing a meetup on Tuesday? Um, <laughs> yeah, if you're available. <laughs> I'm available. What are we doing? Okay. Um, I sent a list of topics to you, so I. Uh, All right, we'll figure that out and put it. Let's pitch it out tomorrow on TC deals. Yeah, good question. What do you guys want it to be on? What do you want to What do you want to know? Any suggestions, anyone? Do you want it on fix and flips? Do you want it on wholesaling? Uh, fix and flip. Fix and flip. Fix and flip. Okay. All right. We can do that. Yep, yep. For sure. Stevenson wholesaling. Wholesaling, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, so you could go to 27monthlymeetup.com and um, that there's a lot of videos. Mark, you have a YouTube page also right or youtube yeah yeah just go to just google my name mark mop and youtube and there's tons of stuff the the recordings that like what we're on now you can see past recordings you can see the past meetups we've been doing it's all free uh all the pandemics on so we've been doing a lot of good events uh like on wholesaling and stuff so yeah, we had a really good one that we did um, on a Saturday. Remember, it snowed like crazy. Yeah, we held it at um, the cabinet place. Um, that's that's on the twenty-seven monthly meetup. It was yeah. an all-day workshop on wholesaling, where you start, how to generate leads, yeah. just the entire day. It was so it, it's broke up in different parts. That's on the twenty-seven monthly meetup. And all the forms you need are there too. Yeah, my um, my purchase agreement. I just revised it and added a lot of stuff that from your purchase agreement, Mark. You know about the seller financing, um, subject twos. I've, I added that into my purchase agreement. So yeah, the, <clears throat> the subject two is really good because you're going to be. What, in my opinion, the market's going to be with a lot of people in trouble with their mortgages where you can be able to take them over. Yeah. So you need to have a good clause to be able to do that. Yeah. We covered last week 
and Todd and I are gonna <clears throat> didn't record, so we're gonna re-record it. Yeah, we'll, yep. we'll ship that recording out to everybody. But all that stuff goes on the meetup site, and a lot of it's on my YouTube. Right. Yeah. So, um, just a quick example, Mark, that lead you generated in Redford. Yeah. So I got a really nice Redford property in really good shape where he's behind he's five five months behind and pretty much i'm just gonna take over his payment you know catch it up take over his payment this is in the area that would rent for close to 1300 a month this is a house that would rent um, for 1300 a month real nice kitchen three bedroom basement it actually has a generator to power the house when the power goes out. Two car garage, new roof, new windows, um, new furnace, new central air, really solid property. And now is that one an investor can take over? That's one an investor could take over and um, keep the mortgage in place and you know, refinance it later. You know, you got a few years to do what you want to do, you know? So, and you could probably get into something like that for, um, I'm waiting on the, you know, the figures on the payoff on the mortgage and how far behind, but probably around 15 grand out of pocket, someone could get into a deal like that. So you just sell or finance it for sure. That sounds good. I think we should do a seller financing um, like subject to type, um, um, you know, meet up, Mark. Yeah, we could, I could actually spend time and show people how to create paper and then where they could sell the paper. You know, like in other words, you've got a house and you just, you're creating a land contract sale and a discount. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, so, but for the new wholesalers out there, you, you, you're, you really don't want to get, you don't have to have all your docs together and things like that. First of all, just, you know, just go find a motivated seller. You could reach out to me or there's other people, you know, whoever you, you would like, you reach out, but I, I offer it too. We'll split it. We'll split the deal 50-50 but I'll run the appointment with you or you run it, however way you want to do it. I'll get you the uh, purchase agreement. Um, and I get, once that happens, I'll, I'll show you the ropes of what we do from there. You know, uh, what, you know, we'll send it to Melissa. She'll order the title. Um, we'll create some flyers and post them out to the world. And I got a great buyer's list. Um, I, I take advantage of Mark's and he has 6,000 people that I use on his and there's just, I'm starting to get on Instagram now. So, you know, there's just, if you need help, just reach out to me and, but that's the first thing you don't want to work. Don't even worry about assignment contract. Don't worry about anything right now. Just let's worry about finding a motivated seller and um, making an appointment to go see them. That's number one. Look at Emmett asked me to go on an appointment with them this morning. And I said, look, Emmett, they want too much money. He said, forget you, Todd. He went out there and got it for 30, 40 grand less than what they wanted. So that was a really, you know, that was a great job on his part. You know, so. Hey, Todd, this is Mafuz. I had a question. Um, yeah. Is there a way to get the latest owner info for free, per se? So, for example, when I do a little bit of research, sometimes I'll drive around Warrendale. Um, and, you know, me primarily, I'm in the rental market buying. So I try to find houses that are kind of, you know, um, tall grass and not taken care of and stuff, but sometimes the city records and BSNA um, doesn't add up to what the latest information is. Now, I work for the water department, which makes it easy because I can just walk over to the Wayne County building and, you know, get the latest info. 
but uh, that's not the case anymore, obviously, since we're not in the office, so. Right. You work at the water department? Oh, yeah. my gosh. You're my best friend now. <laughs> oh, I love you. All right. So now that you work at the water department, I'm sure I can help you find what you're looking for. All right. Really. Um, there is a way, as you know, the city of Detroit, they are not up to date with at all who the owner of the houses are. It's a 50-50 chance it's gonna be correct, you know, because people don't do their property transfer affidavits or they lose them or whatever. It takes them forever to get that on record, right? Right, right. Um, but I, I got access to a couple of sites that's not free for me, but it'll be free for you because you work at the water department. And um, so we can figure that out together. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah, that's the, you know, I know um, that one company that some people use, um, 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 Deal Machine, where, you know, it costs 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks a month, and you could look up the information but they're going off of what the city says and things like that. So in Detroit, it's it's going to be useless, you know. Right. Yeah, but uh, is there any, does the MLS sync with uh, Wayne County registers of deed or? Yeah, M well, MLS is a little bit better than that because if there was a mortgage um, or if someone bought it and there's a quick claim deed, you know, I think the. Um, yeah, so the MLS will be a lot better. When someone doesn't do a property transfer affidavit, it will show as the owner, as the old owner on the MLS or in the register of deeds maybe, but I'll be able to see from the MLS if, um, you know, if they're, you know, I, I, I could look at it real fast and find out, you know, usually who the owner is. Todd, is there some low cost services that you could give him where he could, uh do uh, traces on the numbers? Um, that's what I'm trying to think of. The MLS is the best place in Detroit that I could think of to find the, who, the, who the owner of record is gonna be. And another place, really I am. I mean, if you got a good connection with a title company, they, they know how to find it for sure. Like if I ever have a, if I can't find it from the MLS, I'll, call, I'll, I'll send it to my title contacts. And they'll send it to me. They'll let me know. Somebody's got their TV on if they could turn it off from okay. the radio. Mute themselves. Or me. One other question, Todd, if you don't mind. Um, how do you guys go about if a company if a company owns it, you know, offshore or even in out of state? How do you go about trying to find the, you know, main decision person or the, um, you know, because sometimes they're registered and, you know, when you go through, do some trace searches of the corporation, it's registered back to an attorney or a CPA who's not, you know, it might be a large firm and, you know, so those kind of uh, areas. How do you try to go and find the actual owner of the LLC or someone that's in authority to make decisions? Again, I have access to a system that... Gotcha. Um, will find the owner for that LLC. Sure. Yeah. So the costs, you know, yeah. So I can help you with that. It's not free. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't even know what the system name is because I just send it to my connection that who has access to it, you know. So, and, and they, you know, we search, you know, we might search neighborhoods or zip codes or, um, certain areas and say, look, I want all the non-owner occupied and I get the, I get the, their name. And if it's an LLC, then we do another search and we get all the information from the LLC, you know, who the owner of the LLC is. I, I got a question. Yeah. Um, who on here can assist me with a final water meter reading? <laughs> 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 Mafuz, who do we do? How do we do that? So, um, give me the address. I can't promise anything, but I'll try my best about that. Okay. 
and before I would have been able to, because you know we work. I, so let me be clear. I guess I wasn't clear. I worked for the Great Lakes Water Authority, which is the regional water authority. Oh. So we're not really in the public's eyes of. <laughs> Oh, you know, I know, I I know who you are. Okay. Well, um, you're, you're never say who he works for ever again. <laughs> but going back to your point, normally I would assist other people in this uh, situation. I do actually because I work in the water board building, so I'm able to just walk down to the fourth floor and arrange it instead of going through the typical process. So I have helped people. Um, awesome. with that, you know, because I know it's hard to get a hold of those guys. I know how yeah. hard it is. So, yeah. uh, I'm glad I have your cell phone number. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, just give me the address. I'll try my best again. I can't make any promises, but I'll try my best, whatever I can do. Just, just. okay, it's one. You ready? <laughs> you ready? I'll give, I'll put my phone number on here so you can just text it to me. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Todd, there's a question written in from Lewis Cook uh, to everyone. Where do you find motivated sellers to approach for a lease option or subject to deals? I've tried FISBOs, but with not much success. Yeah. Um, really, my subject twos and lease options are people maybe that have high equity and that are the sequence you know they're behind they're behind on their mortgage um or they're behind on some payments um and then another level would be not just delinquent high equity and non-owner non occupied they're even more motivated and behind on payments so those are type of i know there's a system that i hear from a couple people i know um and also um i hear it on wholesaling inc and a couple of podcasts called prop stream and you could pull lists from prop streams for, for different type of things like i just said you know you could you know someone with high equity non-owner occupied and behind on payments, things like that. So that's, those people are gonna be motivated to do whatever, you know, you wanna do. And anybody who wants to get a lead and put it together, I'll give you a, a thing you can do when you're in Detroit or you're in the Flint area and you see a good commercial building boarded up, but a good commercial building boarded up, leave a notice on the door that says that, um, and Todd's the agent, I have an agent who's interested in uh, in a charity as a buyer uh, that's interested in acquiring your business, and we'll help negotiate a deal where you're involved in it and uh, and and put it together. So, and people who have those kinds of properties are majorly motivated. There, so you've got good motivated sellers. Todd's got a built-in buyer for it, so leave them a card and bring them to us. Yeah, in some cases we could give them money and they could donate it. Give them some money and donate it, right, Mark? Well, yeah, we can offer them tax benefits and if it's if it makes sense, they can uh, do what's called a partial donation. Right. But the bottom line is is that you'll be involved in it and it'll be financially rewarding to you. You can just talk directly to Todd on that. Yep, yep, yep. And if anyone you're needs there, in, you're already there in the neighborhood. You might as well leave a note. Yeah, we'll even com comprise a note for you. And just all you gotta do is add your name and phone number. <laughs> yeah, if anyone needs any funding for businesses, if you need funding, um, you know, flipping rentals, um, commercial businesses, apartments, anything. Um, I got a great connection, um, you know, so just contact me. I could send you the link and you could just, it's a quick application. Um, they have access to a lot of bank, a lot of different, not just 10 or 15, probably 50, 60, 70 plus different avenues of getting people approved. So 
Uh, my they're, they're the major back room for major lenders everywhere. Yeah. This yeah, yeah, yeah. The real good source. And if you, Melissa, if you need any transactional funding, um, you know, wholesalers that want to do double closes, um, you can contact Melissa. And if you get any deals under contract, um, you know, remember contact Melissa. She could, you guys could discuss it. She can handle that for you too, if needed. You know, she'll also help you clear the title when you got one with the tax tax problem. She's got all the resources and get them cleared up where you don't necessarily have to quiet title. Yep, yep. Full show. All right, put your number. Mark, what's your cell phone? 248-939-6232. 248-939-6232. All right, there you Anybody go. Anybody that joins the 27 monthly meetup Dot com. They can have access to me anytime they want. I'll help them structure the deals. I'll help them with the purchase agreements. How much is 27 monthly meetup.com, Mark? How much does that cost? $27 a month. Exactly. I'm a cheap friend, <laughs> cheap resource. Right. But but you'll get to know me and we'll put deals together. together so. yep. Yeah. And if anyone's looking to become a real estate agent, um, I have $30 off coupons um, for Michigan Real Estate Institute, I think is what the name of it called, Kevin George and Namir George. Yeah. Good place to get your license. Um, they don't pay me anything. I just, that's where I went. That's where my son went. And I know Kevin, so he's a good dude. And he teaches a pretty good class. So just reach out to me. I, I got a question. What I got, I got, I got to know about. Like, do you have a resource for like first-time home buyers that are looking for homes, or any uh, anybody got any uh, lenders? Yep, um, actually, Villa. Um, we have our, you know, we're in fifty states, and we have a more our own mortgage company, and that's who I send all my buyers to um you know to get a pre-approved so yes and, and they have access to all the programs their guidelines have not changed like some of the banks have already where the credit score has to be so much higher and things like that um the only thing with them their minimum loan amount is sixty thousand dollars um if i had anyone that under sixty thousand then I would be looking at like Huntington Bank, PNC Bank, you know, something like that. Okay, yeah, per perfect because I have a, I have a guy um, that is looking for a property, and uh, he's at that sixty to seventy thousand dollar mark. Yeah, the key is the job history and the credit in the DTI. The credit doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, they'll look at it and see, you know, the days of, yeah. you know, sometimes they could do some type, if the credit score is low, but the credit is halfway decent, they might be able to manual underwrite it, you know, in certain programs, you know, but it only takes a second to try to figure it out. So yeah, just send me the information and we'll take it from there. Okay. When do you take your realtor test, Emmett? Uh, not until like the first week of August. I'm actually going through the same institute that you went to. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. I'm doing the virtual, virtual class. Oh, are you? <laughs> nice. But, oh, and by the way, they have opened up PSI. So anybody wants to take the, take their state exam, their, allowing you to take it now awesome that's good hey emmett did i send you some study information mm, no and i will take it gladly all right i'll send it to you yeah anybody any investors that are thinking about getting real estate license stay away from uh, uh unless it's michigan real estate institute the one they're talking about 
stay away from the online courses that they're nationwide because the qualifications are a lot tougher in some other states and it's going to be a nightmare getting through the testing. You'll find them for cheap, but you'll also never pass them. So it's just yeah. stay away from that stuff. Yeah, they make it hard. You know, you're going to, you're going to learn a lot of stuff that you'll never use in real estate, but it's good stuff to, I guess, to know, you know, I guess. Yep, yep. All right, any other questions anyone has? Can we help you with anything else? Anyone else? All right. Mark, anything else to add? No. It's we'll, a wrap. Get a, we'll get a program put together for next Tuesday. Yep. Get it out to everybody. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. We'll work on that. All right, everyone. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, feel free on Thursdays. Any questions you might have, any way we can help you, any deals, what you're looking for. And like, remember, this is going out to a lot of different people. Um, so it's the way to get, you know, it's just another way of doing things. So, but everyone have a good week. Let me know if I can help you in any way. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.